Within the woods of the NCC's green belt, there are the remains of two 1950s motels. As shown on this 1965 aerial map and this 1976 aerial map, they are known as Charlie's Motel and the Cedar View Motel. The land they were on was later purchased by the NCC and subsequently they were removed. Here is Charlie's Motel. Note the striped diagonal roof that is clearly visible on this 1965 aerial image. The NCC later leased back the property to the hotel owners as shown in this newspaper article. This 1950s postcard shows what the Cedar View Motel looked like. One of its guests arrived by helicopter in 1961. This 1965 aerial image shows the distinct swimming pool. It was later abandoned after NCC purchase and burnt to the ground. Using these postcards and aerial images to confirm the location on Robertson Road, we headed into the woods to see what remains, if any, were left in the Greenbelt. Heading into the forest, we looked for Charlie's Motel. We soon found it, or rather what is left of it, which is an empty field. We then headed further east, looking for the remains of the Cedar View Motel. Entering a stand of cedar trees, we knew we were probably in the vicinity of the Cedar View. After a brief exploration, we suddenly found what was left of the Cedar View Motel. Here are the foundation ruins. We also found the remains of the old swimming pool, some foundations of the motel, and parking stanchions sitting idle in the forest. The ruins of the Cedar View sit silently hidden in the woods. The ruins of the old motel sit quietly being consumed by the trees it was once named after. The Cedar View sits hidden amongst the NCC Greenbelt. I'm Andrew King.